The 12 best low carb vegetables and their benefits. If you're going keto or you simply want to cut back on your carbs, watch today's video for the best low carb veggies for any diet. You know the basics of keto or low carb. High fat, moderate protein, very little carbs. It seems simple, but when you're on the keto diet, not all vegetables are created equal. In fact, they can vary quite a bit when it comes to carb content, making only some veggies truly ideal for a keto diet or low carb, but let's talk about keto because ketosis is, if, if ketosis is your goal, then this video is very important to you. Today, I'm ranking the top low carb vegetables to show you which will give you the best bang for your nutrition buck. So vegetables on a keto or low carb diet, which ones are best? As a general rule, the veggies that have the lowest carbs are most often the ones that grow above the ground, like leafy greens. In fact, green usually signals a lower carb vegetable. Conversely, colorful root vegetables often have more carbs, sugars, and starches and should only be eaten in moderation if you're on a keto diet. These include carrots, sweet potatoes, beets, rutabagas, and parsnips. So let's rank the low carb vegetables that you need to start eating more of if ketosis is your goal or if you just want to get overall more healthy. This list ranks the lowest carb vegetables by nutrient density. Number one on the list is spinach. Spinach is so low in carbs that you can add it to just about anything on a low carb diet. It's rich in antioxidant vitamin A and C, which help fight free radical damage and signs of aging. It also contains ample amounts of vitamin K and minerals like magnesium and manganese, and we all need more magnesium. Number two, celery. If you're craving a crunchy snack, chop up a stalk of celery and get your favorite dips ready. With virtually zero carbs, celery is a great source of trace minerals like potassium as well as vitamin K. Try dipping it in homemade guacamole or hummus. Number three, avocado. While technically a fruit, avocado is an extremely nutritious, low-carb addition to your keto veggie arsenal. It's loaded with healthy fats, vitamin C, vitamin E, and potassium, and can double as a dip for other veggies when you puree it into a sauce or spicy guacamole. Number four, mushrooms. Most mushroom varieties are very low-carb and contain lots of B vitamins, as well as minerals like potassium and copper. Plus, they add a rich, savory texture to stir-fries, omelets, and any veggie four dishes. When looking for the best varieties, choose white or cremini mushrooms. They're typically in more inexpensive and contain the fewest carb counts. Number five, asparagus. Rich in vitamin C, vitamin A, and folate, as well as many minerals like calcium and copper, asparagus is a green veggie that delivers taste and nutrition. It's also a perfect base for creamy sauces made with coconut milk and nut butters, or even tossed in the grill with olive oil, one of my favorite ways to make it. Number six, cauliflower. It's pretty amazing that hunger bustling cauliflower ranks so low on the carb scale. Plus, the veggie is, an, is also anti-inflammatory and rich in vitamins C and K. One of the great things about cauliflower is, is its versatility. Try pulsing it into a rice in your food processor or puree it into a creamy soup. Number seven, zucchini. If you're looking for a versatile veggie that can be grilled, roasted, or even cubed, added to stir fries, or spiralized into noodles, zucchini is your new low carb friend. It contains a decent amount of vitamin A and trace minerals like manganese. Number eight, we have green cabbage. Cabbage is another veggie that you can enjoy without indulging in too many carbs. It also contains good amounts of vitamin C, A, and you can whip it up into a coleslaw with creamy dressing or even a thick cabbage soup loaded with other low carb veggies. Next up, broccoli. Broccoli is an extremely nutrient-dense, low-carb veggie option. It's packed with vitamin C, A, K, folate, and manganese, and is delicious steamed with a dash of olive oil or butter and roasted in the oven. Number 10, Brussels sprouts. Brussels sprouts make the ultimate roasted veggie side dish. They also work fantastically shredded in salads and are rich in vitamin C and potassium. Similar to cabbage, they also contain high amounts of sulfur compounds, which can be beneficial to joint health and helps synthesize glutathione, a very important antioxidant that, that helps fight uh, aging and free radical damage at the cell level. Number 11, bell peppers. Stir fries with red and green bell peppers are still on the menu during a keto low carb diet. Not only are bell peppers a fantastic way to add flavor to several dishes, but they're also very high in vitamin A and C. Experiment with sauteing them or even eating them sliced and raw with a dip like hummus. Finally, number 12, we have kale. Kale is one of the most nutrient-dense leafy greens you can eat. It is higher in carbs, but as long as you're combining it with other low-carb veggies and greens like spinach, it's a great complement to uh, salads and stews. 
Kale is extremely rich in vitamin A and C, as well as decent amounts of calcium, potassium, and copper. So how do you make low-carb veggies extra tasty? Well, we know eating plain greens and green vegetables can get boring after a while. The trick is to really to is to up their taste game is to focus on combining them with healthy fats like butter, avocado, or coconut oil to make your own healthy sauces and dips. The general rule of thumb on a low carb or keto diet is to stick to green veggies. Of course, this doesn't mean you can't occasionally indulge in carrots or other slightly starchier vegetables. Just be sure to fill the bulk of your veggie sides with the vegetables that I mentioned in this video. Thanks for watching my video. I hope you start introducing some of these foods into your low carb diet or fasting diet or any diet for that matter. I appreciate you watching. Please hit that like button, subscribe for more tips like this. Check the comment in, check the first comment and I'm just giving you my free 24 hour metabolism reset guide. Just tell me where to send it, thanks.